When word came out that Honda was developing a new crossover based on the Brio or the Amaze platform, all of us were expecting an EcoSport rivaling compact SUV. But to our pleasant surprise, what they have created is a crossover that is a size larger and a 7-seater at that. And they are calling it the BRV. The size, the space and the 7-seater configuration is courtesy of the Mobilio, though the BRV's footprint is marginally larger. The kings in the window line and the prominent character lines are typical to the Mobilio. The BRV's class leading length is highlighted from this angle and the vehicle looks sleek. But look at the front and a more boot stance emerges. There are no hints of the Brio design thought. What you get instead is a more angular face, aggressive swept back headlamps and a chunky grille made up of a prominent bar on top like the rest of the Hondas and a sharp slat at the bottom that cuts into the headlamp. There is plenty of mesh treatment which looks good from the three quarter view but more like a chicken coop when you look at it from a closer distance. The creases emerging upward from the fog lamp housing add more character to the front end. The clamshell bonnet sits higher than the shoulder line and its flatter form gives the face a more fuller, boxier SUV-ish design, unlike the Mobilio which looks like an amaze with a mohawk. The rear end is pretty good looking too. The taillights borrow cues from the horizontal units on Honda's other compact crossover, the Wesel. But vertical taillights like the CRV could have looked better and would have made up for the absence of the handsome floating D pillar effect that you otherwise get on the Mobilio. More cuts and creases like the front end prevent the tailgate from looking slabby. Like the Creta, the chrome bar over the rear registration plate looks like an afterthought. The black cladding that outlines the wheel arches and underscores the skirts and bumpers looks tastefully crafted and has a good fit. It adds a rugged feel to the design and is complemented well by the 16-inch alloys and the 201mm ground clearance which isn't the best in class but generous enough. The common dashboard that you have between the Mobilio, the Amaze, the Brio doesn't find home here. This is a more premium product, it's placed as a more premium product so what you get is a dashboard that looks a lot more like the Honda City. So you get a better instrumentation, better switches, better controls all over. It doesn't get the touch type AC controls or a touchscreen infotainment system yet, but that could change in the India spec version. The BRV has plenty of space to boast about. The third row is roomy enough for comfortable urban commutes, but maybe not so much for long distance travel. All three rows get adjustable headrests for better safety. Speaking of safety, driver and passenger airbags are there, you also have ABS and I really hope that it's standard across the range because now that is becoming a norm in this class. Honda will offer two engine options, the familiar 1.5 litre mills, the IV Tech petrol, the ID Tech diesel. Now the one I'm driving is the petrol, comes with two gearbox options, there is a manual and a CVT automatic. Now the CVT is the new gearbox, the one that we also saw on the Jazz, it's the same family. Has that rubber band effect but not very pronounced. If you want to use it in the city, on the highway, it should be really convenient. Unfortunately, we are driving on the racetrack, so I can't really comment on how good it actually is. But from whatever I can feel and whatever I can drive, I can tell you it's going to be very convenient. The power band kicks in at about 4000 RPM and has a decent mid-range and strong top end. But that also means that you have to keep the engine on boil to be swift. Despite the long length of the BRV, you don't feel like you are dragging the SUV around. As far as the suspension is concerned, now the Mobilio already had a supple ride. This one has a better suspension travel, so it will definitely improve on that. As far as the handling goes, there is a bit of body roll, but it does feel quite tight for an SUV. And it feels very car-like to drive because again, it's based on the Mobilio and when I reviewed the Mobilio, I told you that the Mobilio also feels quite car-like to drive. You sit quite low, the window line will tell you that. So yeah, it does uh, feel very easy to drive. So even if this were to be your first SUV or a first crossover, it shouldn't be too intimidating. The 195 section tyres seem quite grippy on the track and display decent road manners. Given the nature of the drive, which only lasted a couple of laps and about 3 minutes behind the wheel, we couldn't test the car for its top speed or high speed stability. So that will come with a road test. But that road test will come in 2016 because mid-2016 is when we expect to drive the India spec BRV. Now Honda will showcase this car at the 2016 Auto Expo and we don't expect this car to be too different than the prototype that we drove today. But in a nutshell, the BRV comes across as another value for money offering from Honda and its size and space will be its trump card 
over its rivals.